Baby, as you can tell by Samantha's beautiful, beautiful, amazing safari hat. I wish I had my safari hat. We're still harping on that, aren't we? Mm, this whole series, baby, it's going to be all luggage jokes. I mean, you cracked one this morning at me. I did. It is 8.02 a.m. and we are ready for our Animal Kingdom day. We're going to grab Kelly and Stu here in a sec. We have like six stacked multi-pass lightning lanes. We have a single ride lightning lane for Flight of Passage. We have lunch reservations at Tusker House. I'm excited. Tonight, we're going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I am going to make that a separate vlog, so stay tuned for next week's vlog where we cover the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Spooky <laughs> in the middle of August. It's not really the middle, it's towards the end, but still. Well, it's Halloween season here at Disney World, so we want to celebrate while we can. But are you ready for our safari? I am stoked. I'm super excited. I feel good. I'm well rested. I'm hydrated. I'm ready to go. All right, let's go have a wild time. <laughs> Good morning, Kelly and Stu. Good morning. You guys ready for a wild time? At my favorite park. Yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> it's a half a day park. Uh, false. Kelly did make it into a full day. It is a full day. <laughs> hey, you guys want to eat a rainforest cafe and see animatronics that barely work? No, I'd rather see the real animals. <laughs> Good morning. Can we have our guests with us too? I really need a switch. I don't know why from last time it's this finger and this hand, so I gotta do the the crisscross. Yeah, I don't know. That's fine. Come down the main strip to see the Tree of Life. Veer to the right, and you're gonna go in the dino area of what it's known today. It is going to be changing. And so we're going to pretty much rope drop dino. Dinosaur for that matter. So we can ride it one more time before it goes extinct. Hey Stu! Yeah. Let's go get that dino. I'm ready. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to our little transdimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeger, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period, and I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, 
Here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Go get that dino. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. You made it. Mission accomplished. You made it. I knew you would. And guess who made it back with you? I better find you before security does. Thanks for everything. Negative. Ooh, all right. A little jumbled up. But uh, we got that dino. I forget how much like throws you out. Everything was working this morning. Yeah. All the lights, all the sounds. It's, great. <laughs> it's kind of sad that it is leaving, but me personally, it's time. Like, bring out Indiana Jones, get rid of Dino Land, no one goes there. Like, it's, it's time. I know everyone loves this ride, but it's time, y'all. Change is okay. Change is okay. And if you haven't heard, at D23 just a few weeks ago in California, it was officially announced that the Dino area in Animal Kingdom is going under a massive refurb. They're bringing Encanto into the park. Yeah. They're gonna bring Indiana Jones, like Chris mentioned, to replace the dinosaur ride. So this may have been our last one. All right, it is 8.55, not even 9 a.m. yet. And our next ride on our list is the Safari. I'm excited to ride the Safari ride. I know Kelly is too. Kelly has worked with gorillas in the past and like she's a dog trainer who loves animals. This is her favorite park, even though it's a half day. But yeah, that's far as maybe also. So let's go do that. So we're still over here in the dino area and the annual pass magnet distribution still going on. Yeah, we gotta get that Timon and Pumbaa magnet. I forget though, is it both of the characters on there or is it just like Pumbaa? I guess we're gonna find out here I don't know. soon. We gotta get that. And we get two. So Yeah. Let's we're, go get that magnet. We're, we're <laughs> <laughs> Say less. <laughs> Good morning. Got him. Look how cool this is. So I cut mine out. It has a little cutout so you can kind of see. But this is so cool. So we get two, but I promised Kelly and Sue that I would gift them Aww. a magnet. I mean, we just put both of them up on our fridge. Yeah. So they can have it. Though they're not annual pass holders, but they can look at it and think of us. Exactly. It's a little uh, memento. I like this though. I, I, you know, it's, it's little things like this that you know makes you appreciate being an annual pass holder. I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, you spend so much money and they just give you magnets," but like it's the little things, it's right? Like a collector's thing. Yeah. So. And for all of y'all pass holders who get these and then resell them on eBay, you're the problem. Shame. But anyway. <laughs> so cool. So cool. All right. Let's see what happens next. Let's do it. Done. Jumbo, everyone. <laughs> that was fun. It was very fun. Um, it took a little bit longer because apparently somebody was trying to cross the road. Yeah, some zebras. <laughs> but 
They were very active, I would say. I, I think like every time we come on the safari, yeah. they're 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 always great. I would still stick to my advice. Come in the morning. Yeah, I would too. I'm not feeling too good. What's the matter? I don't know. Like I. I've been drinking water. I think it's just the heat. It's very humid. Yeah, it's it, today's a rough one, but I can't decide if I'm like hungry or like I need to drink more water. But probably that's okay. a little bit of both. Yeah. So. Well, are you okay? Can we go on flight of passage? Yeah, we can do all that. Okay. Maybe right. alcohol will fix me. Oh lord. <laughs> alcohol will fix me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on flight of passage. Pro tip, when you get to this point, always ask for the top. Nine times out of 10, the cast member will let you do it. We just think it's a better view. Hi, and welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, riding on the back of a Banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an Avatar. Using Avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative. And we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a banshee. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Ho, rise to the challenge. Sivak Ho. We did it. Yeah. We flew through Pandora. I love that ride. That mm -hmm. is, I hope we get to do that again today. I don't know if we will be able to, but. We would have to stay in line. I don't like it that much. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hot today. It's very hot. I, I know it's Florida and it's like, you're growing in, in August, but it's, the humidity was like 89%. So, you know, we're keeping it real with you guys. It's warm. Yeah, that we have AC, our neck bands. That AC in there though was like pushing. That was great. It was just blowing straight cold air. It was nice. Well, what's the plan now? I think we're going to go to Pongu Pongu to get okay. the stuffed pancake sandwich, and I might get a green beer. There you go. So, it's uh. It's 10.58, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. So, Disney property, There's, it's like casinos out in Vegas. It doesn't matter. There's no clocks. You can drink whenever. Just enjoy yourself. Okay. Let's go get a green beer. Let's do it. Checking in here. It's just shy of 11.30. And Chris totally devoured his green beer. Couldn't even show you guys, I'm sorry. Oh, he said he's still drinking it. How is it? Very green. <laughs> We're on our way to Tusker House to see if we can be let in a bit early for our dining reservation. We're very hungry, very hot. And we're just looking to sit down and enjoy some AC. So that is the plan, and we'll see you over there. Oh yeah, I got a hot dog. So I know we said we were going to get the Marshall's favorite stuffed pancake sandwich from Pongu Pongu, but unfortunately they stopped selling breakfast at 1030. So yeah, we missed out, but here's a video of it. And yeah, it's so good. All right. We are at the Tusker house. We're going to go it. check in early and see if we can make the magic happen because we hungry. are very hungry. <laughs> So we're sat down at the Tusker house and it's very quiet. Yeah, it smells great. Oh my God, it smelled so good walking It in. smells kind of like when we went to, uh, help me out here, not Boma. Don't tell me, don't tell me, I'll figure this out, I know. It's not Boma. 
No, wait. Duh. It is Boma. <laughs> I was thinking, it's funny, I was thinking of um, Ohana. Oh, but okay. I said Boma, but it reminded me of Boma smells, yep. right? Uh, those African flavors, so. And that's exactly right. So Tusker House is seated right in the Africa section of yeah. Animal Kingdom. Yeah. So it's a buffet restaurant based off of the flavors of Africa. So we'll show you the buffet, we'll show you the desserts. Soft beverages were included with the buffet as well. Wait, soft beverages? So no alcohol? That's not, that's extra. I have to pay extra. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Daisy are in their safari vest. Yeah, best. yeah, yeah, they're around here somewhere. Yes, so it is a character dining and we will see everybody and we already got everyone's autographs to give you this beautiful autograph yeah. card when you sit down which i think is really cool i didn't get one <laughs> so um i want to head to the buffet yeah let's do that all right so from the main seating area you have the full buffet here plenty of different options so let's go dig in here on the carving station we have a salmon we have a tandoori spice rub chicken. And for the hot sides, we have a corn, a broccoli, potatoes, house-made mac and cheese, meatballs, and chicken strips. That's actually the kids' buffet. How cute is that? Here on the hot sides for the adults, we have jasmine rice, Dora Watt chicken curry, a green curry shrimp, we have couscous, braised beef stew, it looks like. Red Red, which is African stewed black eyed peas. South African spiced cauliflower curry. A spiced broccoli. A North African rice. And a carrot ginger soup. Starting backwards here on the cold side, we have a lentil salad, carrot salad, couscous salad. Watermelon feta salad, which is one of my favorites. Some dressings, a coconut curry vinaigrette, a peri-peri vinaigrette, and a house-made ranch. Looks like we have the salad bar here with your usuals, croutons, chickpeas, feta cheese, sliced onion, cucumbers, shredded carrots, looks like uh, heirloom mini tomatoes, and some salad greens. Here we have some cube cheese, some grapes, which look delicious, some ham and turkey. And we also have a bread service. So we have the green onion potato curry. We have curry roti, which I believe is like a bread. And then they also have a zatar spiced naan. Here we have the desserts. We have sugar cookies, chocolate chip zebra cookies, s'more bites, definitely have to get into that, Fab Five Safari Brownie. Here we have the baby bee tarts the butterfly cupcakes, pineapple tarts, and a sunflower mousse. Do have a plant-based option here. This is a plant-based chocolate mousse. And they have a fresh fruit salad. Looks delicious. First plate here, and I just have a bunch of fruit, vegetables, bread, breads. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> this has been interrupted by yours truly, the most fashion forward safari adventurer out there so is donald driving you crazy or is donald being a good boy oh lord okay when's he gonna pop the dang question uh oh uh oh i'll, 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 I'll talk to him for you and we need i got you i got you a big beautiful clear diamond the rarest that was diamond big. yeah <laughs> She well, wants to struggle when she wants. I guess Donald's got that Disney money, so he can afford it. Yeah, Do see, yeah, you know. Donald's been around. What? And he just celebrated his 90th, 90th. birthday? Uh-huh. So, yeah, he's been around long enough. Oh, uh-oh. He's, he's, he's getting up there. So, time, time's a ticking. <laughs> so, on this side of the table, they're already on plate two and quite enjoying everything. Everybody just give me a thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> Honey, are you enjoying your lunch? So far, yeah. I'm just waiting on my jungle juice. It's not called fog juice here. It's called jungle juice. It's the same thing. Oh, hey. <laughs> Who's touching my hat? You know, we ran into Daisy. She said you've been making some trouble. I don't know what you did, 
but that's what you said. <laughs> oh. He's like, I promise. Me trouble. Oh, oh. cross his heart. That's a promise now, Donald. Yeah. All right. Oh, Pinky. Okay. Oh my gosh. Go. All right. Clean slate. What's up, Goof? What's going on? How's Matt? Oh, smell your finger. Oh, oh. Nice oh, no, oh, he's brushing his teeth. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So that's that's your message to your fans. Brush your teeth and you know. Brush well, he's also got to look good in front of the camera. He knows what's up, you know. And you do look very good. I think very you're the fashion. best dressed. So I was about, I was gonna say the same thing. You you look the best. There's the main man, the superstar, the world sensation, Mr. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> the one and only, the original. How are you, sir? You have good safari, taking a break from the world travels. Yep. You got your, what? what oh, what is that? Thermos? Canteen. Canteen. There we go. Canteen, but also a drum. Oh. You could use it as a drum if you want to. Perfect. And then, can you take a photo of me and Maggie? Because we got to get the full outfit. I coordinated everything. Come on, man. I was ready. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually going to go get my second plate. Everybody has eaten. Kelly and Sue are on the third plate. I need to go get my second plate. <laughs> to the song that the, uh, the animals, that the characters dance around to. It's adorable. Uh, we saw Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Mickey. And as you guys saw, they were in their safari uniforms, which was adorable. Everybody, I think, enjoyed the buffet thoroughly. How many plates did you get, Stu? Three, and then another two for dessert. Okay, so... You've got a total of five plates. Five plates. He's a growing boy. Kelly? Same. <laughs> five plates? I only did three. Two food and one dessert. Chris? I did two plates. That looks really good on you. Yep, I'm fashionable. It matches your shirt. It does match your shirt. To give Tusker House a rating, I would say a nine out of ten. Seven out of ten. Nine out of ten. Eight out of ten. Well, you heard it here. I think that means it's Wonderland TV approved. I'd come back again. I would absolutely come back again. So the same buffet they serve for lunch and dinner, but breakfast is a totally different buffet. So we'll still have to do that. At some point. Breakfast. Breakfast. So we're gonna wrap up here, and the plan is to snag our lightning lane for Navi River Journey back in Pandora, and then shoot across the park to Mount Everest. And then see the Yeti. See Baco. There you go. <laughs> so uh, see Baco. Let's go. I wanted to touch on the pricing of everything very quickly. The Tusker House, as I mentioned, does do breakfast, and it's forty-seven dollars for an adult and thirty dollars for child. Lunch and dinner are the same pricing and the same buffet item. Sixty-two for adult and forty dollars for child. We really think it's worth the dining plan credit because this is a sit-down dining credit. So Chris and I are both using two out of our plan, and really think it was worth it. So that was Tusker House. Wonderland approved. Again, fantastic restaurant. If you're on the Disney Dining Plan, I recommend trying it out. So let's go to Pandora.
Done. And if you notice, we're in a merch shop because it was sprinkling out. So we seek some refuge from the rain, some purchases were made, insert clip here. You guys found it! We found it. Where was it? Find the best one. Or like look for them, they're all back there. There's more. I was literally over there. Really? Like I was trying to look around. Oh my god. So, real quick, Kelly, hold it up. This is the viral Mickey tote. It is inspired by a vintage tote. Turn it around. And it says Walt Disney World. You know I gotta have it. Thank you guys for finding it. <laughs> yeah, I had to have that. No purchases on your end? Mm-mm. Okay. We're gonna head down to Mount Everest. It's gonna be our last ride of the day. Kelly and Sue have already checked out. They're heading back to the resort. He's looking around. And uh, we're gonna go find that Yeti. We found the dino, now I gotta find the Yeti. And then we're gonna scoot on out of here. As we're walking over here, as suspected, I checked the wait times and it is down. As you guys see, it's very cloudy in the background. So unfortunately, no Mount Everest for us on this trip. If we do come back, we'll make sure that we grab it, but it's getting a little late, getting a little tired. So we're gonna head back to the resort. That's a wrap on Animal Kingdom. Today was a very sweaty one. Yeah, it was humid, very humid. We did all the rides we wanted to do except for Mount Everest and it's down because of the rain right now. Sad about that. Yes. However, we will be back, not this trip, but a future trip to ride Mount Everest. So for now, thank you guys for tuning in on our Animal Kingdom day. Next week will be Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which is later today for us, next week for you guys. Good to you. <laughs> As always, thank you guys for the watch. Please like this video. Hit subscribe if you have not. All of our socials will be linked in the description below. And see what happens next.